Good evening. Um, I've uh, recently received a shipment of Quark from, from QSB. Um, my kids got a hold of it and they, they tore up the sticker there that it's uh, on there. But basically, it's a nice little package that they give you 20, if you border 20 rounds, right? It's you know, the standard uh, rounds package that um, even, uh, for example, Atmax does. This is a small half ounce round package. And um, I like how they packaged it because they put this, these little spongy thingies in here. And the ones that I ordered from QSB, this is my first order from, from Quality Silver Bullion, was these uh, divisible rounds. And they're divisible in a sense that they have um, these flangings that supposedly let you um, break them into... Um, pieces but if you look you'll notice that hey this looks like a normal round right there's the, that flanging is not exactly deep enough for you to break it with your hand you're gonna have to probably use pliers and you're probably not gonna break it where um, where the flanging is uh, set but I still like the coin I mean the round uh, I like the uh, panner I mean you know what uh, Videos do not do it justice. Um, I, I suggest that um, somebody um, do a high quality video on it, and or do high quality pictures and put it up because um, when I first saw it, I thought it was kind of an ugly uh, coin. But once I got it, um, it the the um, the artwork is really nice. I mean. It's all there's lots of details to it, and um, although you can't break this, I I don't feel you could you could really break this. I mean, I was considering trying, but I thought, ah, uh, what am I gonna do with this if I do break it? And uh, I don't know. I don't think I will be able to. So I'm not gonna bother. Um. But uh, I think the design on the back here, where, where you've got the four quarters um, split up, is also good as well. So uh, I, I'm happy with my, my purchase, even though I might, um, I'm not 100% um, satisfied. Uh, I'm still glad I've got the silver, so silver, silver. Anyways, um, today was a good day for gold. Um, it was an average day for silver. It wasn't so great, but um, but that's that's silver, and it's going to be the uh, the laggard in all of the currency wars. It's unfortunate, but once once gold and silver uh, take off, I mean, once gold once gold takes off, eventually silver will follow behind follow right behind it, and it's going to f uh, raise a lot faster and a lot higher than gold in a percentage basis. Now, what happened today? Well, if you look at the dollar index, it took off, and the same with gold, it took off. This shows that uh, people are seeing what's wrong in the the worldwide economy, and they're not willing to hold um, their local currency anymore. They want to hold either a, um, unfortunately, these things because they still there's still a lot of belief in this and the smart money is also going to this gold now once again just to remind you all all you have to do is to be a subscriber to my channel I will be uh, randomly selecting people from my subscriber list placing the names in a bowl probably get my kid to uh, point to the names and stuff like that in the uh, subscriber list and I'm going to put those names in a bowl and pick one out of these to, to win one ounce of gold this beautiful maple leaf now and that's all you have to do so um and but I'm not going to give it away if uh, Peter Schiff does not make his five hundred thousand dollars gold campaign goal 
by uh, uh, May one by the end of May one. Now, I would um, like to uh, address some of the issues that people have with Peter Schiff. Peter Schiff is not the perfect man. Um, but to quote uh, uh, someplace that most of you probably don't agree with, uh, let the first man without sin throw the first stone. Obviously, that's nobody. So, yes, his foreign policy sucks, and uh, Ron Paul has not uh, backed him up. But I do, he is working for limited government, working for um, reducing uh, the burden of, uh, of, of government on the people and that is the major source of the problems in America and if you want to sh to fix America you have to fix the government all right and the only way to fix the government because the government is always going to be uh, a problem is to make it a smaller government and that's what Peter Schiff is all about. And cut. Here you go. <laughs> You're joking, right? What's this? Your payment. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. This is what I'm looking for.